Hey YouTube, Sean French here, coming at you live, as usual, but it, it's actually not live. So you can probably see that right behind me, my very precious, not advertisement, nondescript smartphone that I had to, it's not back there, block out the, the fruit on the back of the smartphone and the name, I had to block them out. I went ahead and took the poster down. Uh, I actually got that from a place that I worked. It's right over there, that's why I keep looking at it. I was actually worried that my entire video would get taken down, uh, which is why I went ahead and blurred out. I don't know what this is. That's why I went ahead and blurred out the logos and the name and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I'm pretty bummed about that. So for now, I have this regular wall which I'm gonna start decorating. And then also, as soon as boyfriend gets home, I'm gonna get the couch in this room. Hopefully that'll help out with some of the echo that someone has so kindly brought to my attention. Thank you. I forget which one of you it was, but thank you. The first thing that I wanted to bring up, um, my obsession, of course, television. I'm in fact still getting in trouble for watching too much TV. And as you guys know, it's my Every time he complains about it, my excuse is that it's research for my YouTube videos. He's about to walk in right this second. He's gonna be on his phone, I guarantee. Is he on his phone? He's on his phone. We'll be back. Let's try again. So anyway, now that I got him to go away, that was my phone. Thank God I've got a case on it. Tech 21. Fuck, what was I gonna talk about? Are you even recording? It is recording, I just wanted to make sure. Happy Easter, it's coming up. That's why I'm wearing my Sunday best. It's green and Eastery. Um, what was I talking about? TV. So I love TV and I gotta be honest with you, spoiler alert about this. <laughs> what? Spoiler alert, I said it in my last video so professionally and now I can't. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Spoiler alert. Spoil Spoiler alert. On Monday, Hulu popped out yet another awesome episode of 112263. Oh my god. It is starting to get really juicy, guys. Girl. I highly recommend uh, hopping on Hulu, download it on your phone, get it on your laptop, Apple TV, Roku, Google Chromecast. Hell, you can get it on your smart TV. Any, anyway, pick your favorite. Just pick your favorite. <laughs> if you are watching it, feel free to get on social media, comment down below. Let's chat about it. I love this show. Yeah, you better afford that insurance. <laughs> He's talking on the phone. Like always. Anyway, so if you don't have Hulu yet, um, I'm of course again going to recommend it because it's such a good show. There's tons of other good shows on there, lots of originals, but uh, this show is my favorite. The one thing that I promised that I would not talk about on YouTube is politics. Now I know what you're thinking, don't click out because what I've got to say is not really that political. It's more of... I was thinking about this. Okay, so Donald Trump is doing really, really well right now, and of course Hillary is doing well. If you like either of them, great. If you don't, great also. But in the event that Donald Trump wins on the Republican side, I was thinking about this. I, it feels like it's really, really unfair if he wins and if Hillary wins, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, I'm not saying that Hillary is a weak uh, opponent against Donald Trump, but I was thinking, who else would I like to see go up against Donald Trump? And the first person that I thought of, and if you don't know who this is, then you don't either don't watch TV, you weren't born in the 80s, or you live under a rock. So who I would really like to see actually go against Donald Trump, and I'm, again, if Hillary wins on the Democratic side, then wonderful. If you're for her, you're for her. If you're against her, you're against her. I'm sure I'm gonna get some sort of commentary about it. The person that I thought would actually be really funny to go against Donald Trump is Roseanne Barr. 
Now think about that just for a quick second. If you've ever seen her TV show, Roseanne, you know she's got a foul mouth. You know that she is a sarcastic housewife. And actually she is an all-around entertainer. And if you haven't seen her on Roseanne, get on iTunes, get on the Google Play Store, get on whatever you've got and look up the roast of Roseanne Barr. And then tell me that it would not be hilarious. And the reason I'm saying this is because Hillary, God love her, I feel like she is gonna, you know, get her point across, but she's gonna be nice about it. Whereas Donald Trump, he's gonna be a little more aggressive. So I thought, wouldn't it be funny to see somebody that's just as aggressive and also has a foul mouth? Because you know that Donald Trump is just fucking dying to say, fuck, he's, he's probably dying to say one of these words, shit damn cocksucker motherfucker, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I just thought it would be hilarious to watch the two of them go at it. Speaking of politics, I can hear him in the bathroom right now on the phone talking about politics. He's probably watching this video right now and being like, no I wasn't. Yes you, yes you were. So anyway, again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Pretty, pretty, please. Share the video, share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Share it, share them. Just share this video. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are down there. You can of course subscribe. The link is... I'm gonna, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna put it, I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna put it here, here, up oh, my face, click my face, it's, it's the subscribe button. Pick your favorite. Everybody have a happy and safe holiday. Um, if you're gonna drink and drive, drive somebody else's car, and if you don't celebrate Easter, you're still allowed to eat chocolate, just remember that. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next week. That was hot. Shit. Uh...